Hi, it's me. Hi. How are you? Fine. You? Oh, okay. Did you get my letter? Yes, and you write so beautifully. You could be a writer, hun. Oh, come on. Hey, why are you up so late? The moon's shining through my window. It's so big today, and for some reason, very yellow. It's like the day we met. So you remember. Let's make a wish. <laughs> You're funny. I mean, you make a wish when you see a falling star. But not when you're looking at the moon. Let's do it anyway. I really want to. Really, really. Right this minute. Okay. I already made it. Well, what did you wish for? I can't tell you. It won't come true. No. Moon wishes always come true. Okay. I wish that many, many years from now, when our kids are grown, we'll wake up on a night like this and see a moon just like this one. Because a thousand years from now, I'm still going to love you just as much. Can I sit here? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. I'm not disturbing you. You seem to be waiting for someone. Yeah, it's okay. She's a bit late. That's a beautiful bouquet. Is there some special occasion? No, I just wanted to do something nice. So it's love. It's love. Yes, love. What an incredible feeling. You can feel sympathy for or attachment to anyone, but when it's real love, you feel it right away. Real love always happens at first sight, and sometimes it's for life. Well, that's if it's real. Can it be false? Sometimes people separate, no matter what they've said to each other. I'm very sorry that that happened to you. But without the bitter things in life, we can't appreciate the sweet. Many things in life are painful. But if you live in your memories of the past, where will you find anything new? Everything happens for a reason. Perhaps it was your destiny. And anyway, everything's different now. I don't like thinking about destiny. Why is that? Because you can't escape it. Who likes the inescapable? Sometimes the inescapable is just the result of our own decisions. Some people wish on the moon, get married, raise wonderful children, while others die of a heart attack during their morning run in the park. Each person has their own fate. Wish on the moon? I use that expression because it's familiar to you and Anya. You know Anya? You're acquainted with her? She will die two days from now at six in the evening. Two days from now, that's Monday. She will have four classes at university then she'll go to a friend's house. She'll leave there around five. Get in the car at ten to six. And at six her car will collide with a lorry and turn over. Two people will die. She will be one of them. Some call it sudden or unexpected death. People die when their time comes, 
and no one can change it. One can ease the pain, but you can't stave off the time and date of one's death. It's impossible. During his morning run. Isn't that what you said? You could have saved him. You could have warned him and saved his life. It wouldn't have changed anything. Perhaps he wouldn't have listened. You cannot change the natural course of events. If not a heart attack, he would have fallen down the stairs. If not the stairs, then a brick would have fallen off the roof. This person's life ends here. That is his fate, if you want to put it that way. If you're telling the truth, and what you said is really going to happen on Monday, I want to know how to escape it, and what do you want from me? What if I go to Anya's house on Monday and we spend all day together and we don't go anywhere? You can't escape it. Even if you do tell her, even if she stays at home. Do you think it's so safe at home? But if there's no way to change it, why tell me all this? I wouldn't have said anything if there was no way to save her. Well, so what can I do? I think it was one of the greats who said that to live is to feel. A person is supposed to die, but then suddenly the natural course of events is altered. It's against the rules. For it to happen, it must be paid for in some appropriate way. The person isn't dead. His feelings are alive. He can breathe, he sees, he talks, he listens and so on. Do you see what I'm getting at? No. All right, Anya can go on living. But in exchange, you, you personally, must give up some things. Three to be exact, which every person has. Give up your voice, your sight and your hearing. Ananya lives. As simple as that. These are your terms? They're not my terms. There is no other way. But what do you mean, give up? And how is that even possible? Don't be afraid. You won't feel a thing. No operation to gouge out your eyes. But then... You don't have to agree. It's your decision. Your choice. I won't be able to see, or hear, or speak. What will be left to me? You'll be alive. And so will Anya. She loves you so much. I have to tell you, you're not the only one who's had to face this choice. I understand it all very well, but it's the only way out. Or she dies. Yes, on Monday. Well, I have someone else I have to meet. I don't expect your answer straight away. I'll expect you here tomorrow at the same time. Bye.
that everything happened just the way he said it would. Anya died in a car accident at six o'clock on Monday. Those three days, from Friday to Monday, I avoided her, tried not to talk to her. Strangely enough, she didn't seek me out. On Monday evening, having already heard about the accident, I found a letter from Anya in my mailbox. One of those letters that used to warm me so, filling me with hope that we would be together forever. The same hope I couldn't give to her. Oh, darling. I don't know when you will get this letter. Probably not until I've left this earth. Oh, how difficult to know that. But I'm at peace, because at least you are alive. You probably have no idea what I mean, but it's so difficult to write this. I'm crying. I love you. Why did this have to happen? Why us? He came up to me on Saturday when I was coming out of university. God, darling, he knew everything about us. Just some old man in a crumpled hat. But he knew what you gave me for our anniversary. He told me everything about us. How we met, our favorite film, where we spent our holidays last summer. He knew everything, everything. And he said that you were going to die. Yes, you were supposed to die on Saturday at 11 a.m. You would have been hit by a car. That's what he said. I was so upset. I didn't believe him, but he knew everything. He said that your death was avoidable if I gave my life in exchange. Darling, forgive me. I thought about it for so long, crying. I agreed to do it. He said I would die on Monday, but he didn't say what time. I'm so scared. Today's Sunday, and I couldn't stop myself. I called you. I was so happy to hear your voice and to know that you're still here. It's evening already. I'll probably never see you again. Why us? We had so much still ahead of us, and I wanted it so much. Don't forget me. I will always love you. Until the very end. I will love you.